Hello and welcome to another episode of Coding Secrets. Today I'll be explaining how the full screen rotation effect used in my game Pugsy, as well as other games such as The Adventures of Batman and Robin, was achieved. The Super Nintendo was known for its Mode 7 effects, but a few simple tricks would allow the Sega Mega Drive to achieve very similar effects. So let's strip away the background and sprites and have a look at what's going on. Here we can see the boat nicely rotating left and right. Now, although the Sega Mega Drive doesn't have hardware for rotating the screen, it does have a few scroll modes that can be combined to produce something convincing if you're clever with your use case. Firstly, we can horizontally scroll the screen either as the whole screen, as 8 pixel high strips, or as a single pixel high strip. So here's what the boat looks like if we scroll it using single pixel high strips. You can also vertically scroll the screen, but it's much more limited in what it can do. You can either scroll the whole screen up or down, or you can individually scroll 16 pixel wide strips. So let's see how that looks with this boat. Now, if you combine these two scrolls at the same time, you get this, which is a pretty convincing rotation effect. But what happens if you try and rotate the screen further than this angle? Well, here it is rotating twice as far. You can see at the edges of the rotation we're starting to get some nasty looking effects. Let's see how it looks in game. With everything else going on you could probably just about get away with it. So can we push it further? Here's the horizontal scrolling at four times the angle we started at. Seems okay, so what about the vertical? Here you can see that because we are limited to 16 pixel strips, the image is getting pretty broken up by now. And when you combine them, you see the real problems. Not only is the boat getting pretty corrupted, it is also starting to shrink, which is a side effect of trying to do rotation in this way. And even with the distraction of the gameplay, it just looks a mess in game. So that's why we chose the values we did. It serves the purpose of the gameplay and we use it in a way that doesn't push it to the extreme. Well, there you go. That's how we achieved rotation in our game Pugsy. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time on Coding Secrets.